If you hear this on your phone over the next few days, it's probably nothing to worry about. The UK is testing a new Armageddon alert that will be pushed into your phone. It'll warn you about security threats or extreme weather in your area. <clears throat> Alright, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all of the praises and the glory to the Most High and His Son, Yahweh, Barshim Yahushah, Barshim Rukak, Wadash. And double honor to the apostles of the great no stone and as well as giving you brothers out there the salutations you deserve for forwarding this truth worldwide. And I'm um, Shalom to the Yaakim Wakwafiyam as well to those that are listening. All right. And I'm um, it's your brother Laban coming at you with another video. And I'm um, in this video, I'm going to be going over briefly a uh, topic, you know, which is interesting here. And um, down here in England, we're going to be receiving guys. Uh, this article will tell you. Um, you know, frightening uh, alarms tests. And, you know, you got to think to yourself, man, like why all of a sudden, especially, you know, concerning the brothers down here in the UK, you know, why all of a sudden we're going to get these tests? Because, you know, as I'm going to now say in my, in my thinking is the fact that they get misalerted for that particular moment in time where, you know, the alarms are going to be having the ring on our phones for real because of a real situation. And that's what they're preparing our minds for. All right. So now without further ado, let me get into this. So this reads, um, the UK will test frightening Armageddon alarm within weeks, which will see thousands of people's phones flash instead of alarms. The UK is set to test a frightening Armageddon alarm within weeks, which will see thousands of people's phones flash and set off alarms. Millions will hear an alarm sound from their phone and will receive warning text messages as a part of the government's new emergency alert system trial. The system is designed to warn people if there is a danger to life nearby, with the imminent testing to focus on flooding and extreme weather conditions. Excuse me. Um, the phone owner will then be given details of the emergency along with advice on what to do and how to seek help. And the labor has been pushing for this system for more than a decade. And ministers have been promising to introduce it, it since 2013. And they should have been already had this on deck. But why is it now all of a sudden? Because if you look at what's going on around the world, you know, with the, with um, Ukraine and as well as with the bank runs and everything else, which is alluding to the, you know, the downfall of this system, you know, you can only but put two and two together and, and only consider that. Once again, as I'm going to say, they're preparing us for a time of an emergency, which will be a real one at that. And um, even though it's going to be probably another psychological operation or multiple of them at the same time, um, danger and dread is coming. And this is what they're going to do by purpose. Now, I'm not going to give them the credit and I'm talking about the powers that be. I'm going to give more the Lord, the credit, because it's going to be him that's going to be bringing the evil day. And this is what this is basically declaring. All right. That the day of the Lord is near. And as it is written in the book of, um, what is it? Um, Amos three, where it reads that if there be evils in the city of the Lord have not done it very basic, straight to the point scripture. And I just want to connect it with Zephaniah one and verse 14 to verse, uh, what is it? 16. Uh, the great day of the Lord is near. It is near. And it hasteth greatly, even the voice of the day of the Lord, the mighty man shall cry there bitterly. That day is a day of wrath and a day of trouble and distress, a day of wasteness and desolation and a day of darkness and gloominess and a day of clouds and thick darkness. And this is the point. A day of the trumpet and alarm against the fenced cities and against the high towers. So that's what we're coming into. And, and um, I remember the apostles Speaking about how, you know, the brothers in the UK, we're going to be the first ones to experience Jacob's trouble, which that's highly likely because um, <laughs> down here in the UK, as I'm, as I'm showing you, is that we're going to be given a test to see if our alarms are going to work on our phone. And um, and this is and again, this is just the test to see if, if, um, if this is going to be working effectively with the people in terms of alerting them for, for you know, for possible dangers. If a real one is set off, which they're probably going to set off a, um, a, a dangerous event anyway, as, they, as it usually happens. 
But this is all involved in Bible prophecy, which is what we've been warning. And I have to say, speaking of that, too, speaking of giving the warning, um, beginning with the, the heads of Great No Stone, the elder apostles that taught us what we know today and all of the different, you know, um, bishops and, and, and uh, men of heads of camps that have been put in that work. We've been the main guys that have pretty much been giving the, the actual warning of the actual prophecies coming to pass. And I mean, other camps have been doing as they as as they've, you know they've done, but GMS for the most part, we've done a lot of work in regards to showing you and warning you of, of what's what's to come, according to Bible prophecy, and yet we're still doing this. All right, and we've warned days and times ago, excuse me, years ago of scenarios like these happening, and now we're in these days and times. All right. So it's official. This is a day of the trumpet and alarm against the fenced cities and against the high towers. So when you think about the day of the Lord, you think about a day of emergency, a day where there's um, what is it? Uh, civil disobedience, which will in which which we can also say that it's a time of Jacob's trouble and as well as a time of war, which there is the third world's war, which will be physically coming in effect, happening in effect. All right. So all of this is, is, is the day of the Lord. And this is what the UK government is going to warn the British people of. All right. Any form of danger. And just like I said earlier in, the, in this video, like um, why all of a sudden now they're warning. Why all of a sudden now they're going to start doing this? Because the time is coming there that a real psychological operation is, is um, sanctioned to happen. So way beforehand, they got to get us hip to hearing these alarm sounds on our phones to get us prepared. That's what this is all about. All right. Proverbs uh, 16, excuse me, and verse four. The Lord have made all things for himself, yea, even the wicked for the day of evil. And who is the wicked that's going to bring the day of evil? The so-called white man, which realistically, biblically, they are the Edomites. And the Lord is going to use them as an instrument to bring the evil day, a day of dread. And in the day of dread, there's going to be a lot of us is going to perish. And it's going to be some of us is going to be delivered. And those that will be delivered are those that have already repented way before time. All right. Basically, the brothers and the sisters that are listening to this word right now and, and those that are teaching this word, they're going to make it if they endure to the very end. Okay, so. Yeah, we're going to come into some severely dark times, but in those times, guess what? Salvation is going to be within, and that's in the book of Daniel's 12th chapter. And um, in this time, Esau is going to be very, very dreadful indeed. And this is why um, in Daniel 7, it, as it mentions the beasts, which represents the different kingdoms, and I have to read this to convey the point. After this, I saw in the night vision, and behold, a fourth beast, which is the Roman Empire, dreadful and terrible and strong exceedingly, and it had a great iron teeth and it devoured and break in pieces right and stamped the residue with the feet of it and it was diverse from all of the beasts that were before it and it had 10 horns so Esau as he was back in the ancient Roman Empire he came dreadfully and and the reason why I wanted to read this is, is to also um, shed light on on how they they came across the Israelites at that time during 70 AD where the um, they they brought Jerusalem down to a rubble, as the the uh, the what is it the Babylon the Timbuktu book would tell you, that they put an end to, to the Jewish state with great slaughter. So Esau is going to come with 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 dread, the spirit of dread, and the Lord is going to allow it because guess what the two thirds of our people, and as well as just people in general have to get judged for the things that they have done, and in the midst of all of that. This system is going to break down in totality. As it is written in the book of Ezekiel, what is it? I believe it's 21, where the Lord is going to allow him to, to uh, use the sword as it reads and, and give it give it to the hand of the slayer. He's going to right, he's going to sharpen the sword and give it into the hands of the slayer. And Esau is going to go for the slaying. He's <laughs> like the time of emergency is going to be Esau's field day. And all of that, the Lord is going to be behind it for a particular point and reasons, as I've already said. So this is what we're coming up towards, man. And as I've mentioned in that same day, in that same time, as this reads, the time of the end, at that time shall Michael stand up 
and the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people, and there shall be a time of trouble, such as never was since there was a nation even to the time, even to that same time, and at that time thy people shall be delivered, every one that shall be found written in the book. So the elect are going to be delivered in that time of trouble, and this is why uh, the, the the men of the Lord. In their right state of mind, they're going to be looking forward to this time of trouble because within that time of trouble, there we will be delivered. So now let me look at this word trouble in the in the uh, the Hebrew. Tazara Tazara right? If I'm pronounced, if I'm correctly pronouncing that, Salakia. Tazara'a, which means uh, straits, distress, trouble, vexer, rival, wife. <laughs> yeah, because your wife can be a uh, 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 vexer too. <laughs> you know, uh, so it reads, <laughs> a female rival, adversary, adversity, affliction, anguish, distress, tribulation, trouble. So yeah, that's just all of what it means. It just means trouble, man. Tazara'a, which means trouble. So there's going to be a great deal of trouble out on these streets before the Lord makes a second return. So this is a beautiful time and in, in, in place that we're in right now, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um. So let me see what I can read some more on this and then I could probably pull some other precepts out as well, man. So let's go down and read this. It says, uh, the government had also promised in August last year to launch it in October the cabinet office minister Kit Malthouse revealed at the time that the new scheme would allow the government to warn people much more comprehensively about imminent dangers such as the floods, storms, wildfires, or terrorist attacks. Uh, the National Resilience Framework published excuse me, by the government in December then said the system would be launched in early 23. 2023 but up to but up until now here have only been local tests in re in reading um labor's shadow paint paymasters general flu anderson said the trial was long overdue and the government has been haphazard in preparing for emergencies so there you go that's all i gotta read right there and there you know um so yeah they're gonna prepare the ones of us and to test to test this emergency alarm kit to see if it works on people's phones and all of that, right? And just like I said, this is all in preparation for these major psychological operations that they're going to be putting into effect. And therefore, all of this stuff is going to bring in what? The day of the Lord and the day of distress and the day of alarm and the trumpet, all right? The, the official day where the cities are going to be raising alarms out in the mist. So that's pretty much all I have to say with this over here. I want to give all of the praise and the glory to the Most High and the Son. Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah Bashim, and I'm speaking of deliverance. I'm going to be speaking on that as well. Because, um, sorry, excuse me. Because the Pentagon has um, found that there's possibly a, um, a fathership in the mist. So I'm going to get into that real soon, Lord willing. So with that, I, I close. I say Shalom.